हाय एवरीवन वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद माय प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑन मेजर प्लानिटरी ट्रांजिट्स एंड इवेंट्स ऑफ 2024 इन दिस वीडियो आई बी शेयरिंग सम इनसाइट ऑन हाउ टू इजीली जज अवर टाइम अहेड विद एवरी न्यू ईयर और विद अवर बर्थडेज इट ऑलवेज हेल्प्स टू प्लान अवर टाइम एंड नो वॉट दिस न्यू ईयर विल ब्रिंग what changes it will give what we can expect with each new year or after our birthday there are many methods to see the probable impact of every new year like tajika varshfal tithi pravesh progression chart and also through sudarshan chakra dasha that is one year is equal to one house of our chart the numbers here indicate the age and the focus is just one year prediction from your birthday based on your age observe the progression age and the house with each birthday in your chart native sudarshan chakra dasha is the first thing that i will check to know and to analyze their upcoming time so i am very sure this works very well if you have basic knowledge of astrology then sudarshan chakra dasha is one of the finest way and easiest way to know what the new year has in store for you with each birthday and with very good accuracy we can find the mention of this dasha सुदर्शन चक्र दशा इन बृहद पराशरा होरा शास्त्र सुदर्शन दशा इज एक्चुअली अ दशा दैट अलाउज टू एनालाइज वन ईयर टाइम जस्ट लाइक ताजिका एंड वर्षफल एंड तिथि प्रवेश विथ वर्षफल द पॉइंट ऑफ रेफरेंस इज द डिग्री ऑफ द ट्रांजिट सन विच शुड बी सेम एज अवर नेटल सन in the chart we make for that time it is also called and termed as solar return chart similarly tithi pravesh chart is drawn for the moment of the tithi of our birth and its return each year and it is based on the date when the same tithi comes again in the same month it is said that when a planet transits all the 12 houses and the signs then it has completed one cycle through the zodiac this starts with the first house at the age of 1 second house at the age of 2 and likewise we can keep rotating the age and the house then there are 12 houses and signs and at the age of 12 the native will complete one cycle through the houses and the zodiac there will be a new cycle start from the first house again when we are 13 year of when we are 13 years old at the age of 13 25 37 49 and 85 we enter into a new cycle with more awareness and enhanced understanding of our own self of life and our circumstances our weaknesses our strength each time we will have more awareness we are crossing the same path over and over again and get better with each new year or our birthday there is some completion at the age of 12 24 36 48 60 72 and 84 jupiter also has the same cycle of one year or 12 months if you closely observe then the patterns change at reaching in those ages 
there is a special significance of number 12 and is related to the endings completion and gives a new beginning from there with each new cycle we change and we become mature with new experiences new dashas at times depending on our time period planetary placements and different transits with sudarshan chakra dasha we can check at what stage of life we are in currently and what we can expect with the new year after our birthday for analysis there are four pointers first the current or the running age to be kept in mind along with the corresponding house and its sign here i am sharing some very basic but important significance of the house and the signs both mostly the house number and the sign will be different unless you have aries ascendant so we have to combine both the significations of the house and the sign for analyzing that year for example if you are leo ascendant and your age is 41 then your fifth house is activated after your birthday and the sign is sagittarius here the house indicates what we can expect which area would be activated for that year and the sign will show how those events and those circumstances will turn out to be for us the sign will indicate basically your feeling in that year your approach in that year so here in this case the theme of the year will be around the fifth house matter like your children stock market improving your performance your intelligence talents creativity having fun improving your status and your confidence sagittarius sign will flavor those events with luck fortune giving it some religious or spiritual touch and by providing more knowledge if any planet is placed there in that house then that planet will have more say in that year attaching here some basic significance of the planets for your reference if rahu ketu are placed then they will have some karmic influence with no control on our part all you can do is to bring balance in their significations for that year also while checking for the year 2024 do keep in mind that the impact of new year starts from your birthday keep your birthday month in your mind for example if you are april born person then your year and time will change after april 2024 after checking the house planets signs and their significations now take that house as reference point make it as an ascendant to study for that year here all the connections with the house sign and the house lord should be examined like their placements aspects conjunctions or any yoga if they are making also the study of this progression chart should be done in relation with the natal chart its position with respect to our ascendant and your dasha time period will play a major role in determining the events that will happen in that year basically read it as a normal chart and observe your natal ascendant and its lord placement in the progressed chart for better understanding i am taking here example of independence chart of bharat 15th august 1947 at 00 hours midnight at delhi it was first house 
एंड टॉरस साइन ऑन फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन देन ऑन फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी एट इट वॉज जेमिनी साइन एंड सेकेंड हाउस इन द सेकेंड ईयर देन ऑन फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन टेक कैंसर साइन एज द थर्ड हाउस एंड थर्ड ईयर See the number of planets placed there in the third house. Bharat's constitution was finalized on 26 January 1950, the third year after the independence. And likewise, we can keep calculating till we come to the current age of 77 of Bharat. Bharat completed 6 12 year cycle through the zodiac and now it is in the 7th cycle in 2023 august 15th august bharat entered in its 77th year its age is 77 in sudarshan chakra dasha it falls in the 5th house and the sign there is virgo Now check all its significations its aspect connections and rest reading of the chart from the 5th house and virgo sign make virgo in the 5th house as ascendant to read it as a normal chart the 5th house and all the matter related to that will be in the focus for bharat between 15th of august 2023 till 15th august 2024 and the significations will be in focus like education all children related matters stock market improving skills creativity entertainment industry and proving our power and status in the global stage these are the areas where we can see change and some new development in 2024 till august for bharat the sign is virgo in the 5th house it is dual and earth sign expect dualities in making our major decisions at times even confusion also and all the materialistic goals will be in the focus the general approach and the feeling of the country would be like self protective very defensive handling disputes ready to take on any challenges even enemies fighting diseases and using a very organized and detail oriented approach just like a virgo sign observe the firm stand bharat is making since august 2023 like never before strengthening and protecting each side of the country's fundamental rights be it with other countries any sports or on borders jupiter is in the second house so the finances of the country would have growth and expect fortunate gains ketu in the third house indicates some new initiatives and also conflicts with neighbors expect strong stand on any such matters as now transit mercury mars and sun are in scorpio the fourth house has jupiter's moon trigon sign sagittarius so the common people will have wise and knowledgeable approach towards everything we have five planets aspecting the fifth house from the 11th house of gains success and rewards of our hard work we can have expansion in our network with new beneficiary deals Sixth house has moon trigon sign of Saturn Aquarius and the transit Saturn is placed there and this indicates steady victory over any odds and challenges Seventh house has Pisces Jupiter's sign 
and transit jupiter is in the 8th house of aries this indicates our foreign relations may go through some major transformation and there will be a new beginning with this year ninth house rahu can give some stubborn attachments with strong beliefs and opinions bharat has elections this time in may 2024 and 10th house has mars which indicates a strong drive to win and fight for the protection mars here is also the eighth lord from 10th house mars has an aspect on virgo sagittarius and capricorn expect no peace an ongoing fighting spirit throughout the year on a positive side natal jupiter has an aspect on this mars the dispositor of mars is in the 11th house of game and that is mercury 11th is the desire fulfillment house so ultimately all the desires of the country can be fulfilled and the five planets are joining hands to make that happen all in all the entire year bharat would have logical practical and systematic approach towards all the matter of concern the goal would be to win the battle be it physical financial or any other challenging situation the desire will get fulfilled as there are five planets in 11th house assuring the same what can help bharat is to process all the information and knowledge like computer also simplify and have clear concept so you see this way you can cover all the areas of life with sudarshan chakra dasha and be aware of your time ahead you just have to determine your age and relate it with the house in your chart making it as a reference point and read it as a normal chart this can provide you with lot of precise information about that year lastly do check the transits of key planets as they will deliver the results like your dasha lord all the slow moving planets the ascendant lord and the connection they make with your natal planets then there is one more very interesting dimension to this sudarshan chakra dasha from the reference house we can connect each 12 houses to 12 months in sequence and then read for each month for further information and detailed information of each month taking the same example of bharat independence chart now see month wise predictions we started on 15th august 2023 so the first house will have the impact of that month and the lord is mercury placed in 11th house we had successful g20 summit in bharat and gained lot of major foreign investments business deals and popularity this was between 15th of august till 15th of september the second month will be between 15th september to 15th october and the second house would be activated we have jupiter placed there so the finance and the economy of the country improved with gains and benefits of major deals in g20 but also some conflict started with canada and bharat had to take some tough stand on israel war during this time we had transit jupiter and rahu in the 8th house which took away our peace of mind and there was eclipses also jupiter is the lord of 4th and 7th house of relationships here the third month and the third house has ketu bharat had many medals 
in Asian Games reached in finals of World Cup cricket that is between 15th of October to 15th of November. Now the current fourth month between 15th of November till 15th of December and the fourth house would be activated here. Fourth house has natal Mars aspect. But also transit Jupiter from the 8th house is aspecting this 4th house. Expect lot of pull and push for the final World Cup. Mars and Jupiter both is aspecting 4th house. Likewise, we can check the probable impact for each month. This type of analysis takes care of nearly all areas of our life. We can check everything. Any major rise and fall with Sudarshan Chakradasha for that particular year. And in this chart, the Sudarshan Chakradasha chart, we can check the probable events with greater clarity. But only those events which are promised in our birth chart. Do keep in mind that Sudarshan Chakra chart cannot give something that is not promised in your birth chart. This chart is just a complementary, supplementary and confirmatory in nature to our birth chart as birth chart holds the ultimate power to give results. That was all about Sudarshan Chakra Dasha. I hope this was helpful and gave you some clarity on how to read your time ahead with this Dasha and what we can expect in the upcoming time. Do check your time after your birthday for this year using Sudarshan Chakra Dasha for your individual chart and see if you can relate and also share your findings. That was all about this session. Best wishes to everyone with this new year. Thank you for your time. Do write in your comments and your queries and I'll see you all soon. Thank you.